All right, I'm in Studio One version three. This is the DAW that I'm using, but of course you can use any DAW you want. And the Get Good Drums Matt Halpern library runs in Contact. So I'm going to load an instance of Contact. I'm using Contact 5. I'll just drag this over, create a new track, and now I have an instance of Contact in Studio One. Now, one thing to note, the Get Good Drums library, the Matt Halpern library, requires the full version of Contact. You can run it in Contact Player. So Contact Player is the free version of Contact. You can download it from the Native Instruments website. However, because the Matt Halpern Library requires the full version of Contact, if you run it in Contact Player, it will be running in demo mode and you'll be limited to 15 minutes of use. So if you see demo mode, when you load this in, it's probably because you have Contact Player and you do need to purchase the full version of Contact in order to use this sample library. I'll go ahead and bring up my browser here. And I have the Get Good Drums samples that I've downloaded. So once you purchase this library, you'll get an email with a link that allows you to download the library onto your computer. You'll get a couple different downloads. We'll talk about the templates here in a moment. What you need to be concerned about is this Halpern Drums folder. You wanna go into Contact, and then you wanna look for the halperndrums.nki. And all you have to do is take that file, drag it into the main window within Contact, and it will load the Get Good Drums product. We can also go into our file browser. If you have the Libraries tab selected, just go over to Files, and I can browse out, and I've just gone in, found the Contact folder. You can double click from here, and it will open up in Contact, or you can just drag it in to the main window. Now, what I'm gonna do from here, we have a couple tabs in the contact window. If your mixer was open, I'm gonna get rid of that just so we can see more of the Get Good Drums interface. We'll actually come back to the mixer later on in this series. And we also have a minimize window here where we can actually make the window a bit smaller. So we're just seeing the Get Good Drums interface. Now we do have another option for loading Halpern Drums. If you don't wanna browse out to your file menu within the contact interface or find the folder where your preset exists in your finder or in your browser on your computer, what you can do is go up to the top here within the contact interface and choose this quick load. And I already have some presets loaded. I'll go ahead and delete some of these here. All we have to do is grab any one of our presets. We'll just grab the one we've been using here, halperndrums.nki, drag it into this quick load and really I can drag any of these presets that I've created. We'll talk about some of these a bit later in this tutorial, custom mapping and multi-channel output. But now these presets are always in my quick load menu. So when I load a contact instance at any point, I don't have to browse out anywhere. My libraries menu may be up here. I don't have to find the help and drums. They're going to be right here. I can drag it in like we've been doing or I can just double click and the help and drums plugin will load. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.